Hello, so I wanted to do a sort of unconventional test using uh, one of these cheap bits of body armour. So Weapon Collector did a good video on these, basically these were these really cheap, um, supposedly stab proof vests on eBay, and people wondered would they do anything or not. And the good thing was when he tested it, they were surprisingly good for something so cheap. Bear in mind, I think these were under £20. It's a pretty cheap and nasty carrier it's in, but the point was it's actually got some steel plates or something like that in it. And the metal plates in the front and back, um, although they rattle a bit, is what protects you. Now, because this has metal plates in it, and I've got an x-ray emitter, let's see how good this is at actually protecting you from ionising radiation when it's in sort of, you know, a frequency that would be normally, you know, like blocked by lead aprons and things like that, which would be used by x-ray technicians to some degree. So how I'm going to test it, pretty simple. I've got the x-ray gun thing, I've got basically this, and I'm going to put an MD3 meter in front of it, and we'll do a test. Now, this won't be a completely fair test, because I'm going to be doing it like that, with the meter in front of both panels, so it's going to obviously get two lots of protection. Um, and then I'll do the same test with it basically without the vest there. The reason I'm just going to do it like that is obviously you would have some clothing and like fat underneath you and whatever else that would, as well as a bit of body armour that would absorb some of the x-rays as well. Um, but you know, it's more just I want to see what it does. And what I will also do while I've got all this set up, if I can get it to show on camera, because I've managed to do it now, um, but not very well on camera, is demonstrate the actual phosphor screen of the x-rays, demonstrating, you know, like, what you'd actually think of when you think of x-rays, you know, like seeing a skeleton and stuff like that. So if I can get that all set up with all this on the tripod, I'll show you my hand or whatever as a skeleton, um, you know, because I'll r happily risk the radiation exposure to show you something cool, but the problem is it doesn't always show up bright on camera, because you have to have it dark for the phosphor screen to grow, uh, glow brightly, and then if it's dark, the camera often blurs things because, um, you know, how cameras work, but at least this camera has a good zoom. So I can put the camera further away, use the zoom function, and then at least um, you won't get lots of static on the screen from, um, you know, the x-rays hitting the camera sensor. Right, so let's get this started. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to actually probably get something to prop this up on first, and then um, once I've got something to prop this up on so the height is correct, um, we'll start the test. Okay, so as you can see, what we've got here is a stool, and that will um, give this the right height to sit there. So that can sit there. I'm just going to check it's not going to fall over under the weight of it. No, that's fine. Yeah, the tripod's holding that up all right. Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll just move this slightly further back so it can stand a bit more vertical. There we go. That'll be fine. And then I can sandwich this in place with the MD3. And with both these bits here, it shouldn't be able to move much other than, you know, some of the loose bits, but right, that is in place. So now, let's turn on the MD3 and let it go to zero, and this one is correctly calibrated. I'll get my remote control so I can do it at a safe distance. And let me just see on the viewfinder, can I get this into position so you can actually read it on there? Ah, excellent, you can. Right, now that's focused, you should be able to see between 0 and 3 on centigrades per hour. So let's fire this off and see what happens when the remote control wants to work. Brilliant. There we go. That's surprisingly good. Mm, I'm very impressed. Right, so it looks like we've had a dose of only about, was that between six and eight points of a centigrade going through. So, what, six to eight milligrays going through? One centigrade is pretty close to one rungan, by the way. So let's just do that again and have a look, just to be double sure. Went a bit higher that time, but yeah, looks like between four and six centigrades an hour. Right, okay. Now what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do it with it all in frame so you can see that I'm doing it. I'm going to lift this up out the way, so basically what we've got there, as you can see, is that that is now just as it was, with the thing behind it, um, but that's in the exact same position, let's fire it off again, notice how much higher it is. Right, for the interest of this test, what I'm going to do is put that onto the next range up and we'll see how high it goes. But wow, that vest is damn good actually at protecting you from x-rays. <laughs> a lot more than I thought it would be. So maybe I'll wear that in the future when I'm doing these videos. 
Okay, that's now on the 0 to 30 scale. Let's uh, test this. And we're off scale at 30. <laughs> Alright, let me set it to the 0 to 300 scale. But yeah, um, it turns out having a bit of sheet metal or whatever it is in a vest, for a stab proof vest, unlike Kevlar or whatever, is very good at protecting you from ionising radiation as long as it's um, at a certain range. Right, we're on the 0 to 300 scale. I don't think it will max this one out. Right, yeah, there you go. So it's between about 60 and 80 centigrade. So this this thing, base, that vest basically cuts it down by about 100. So obviously, if you were getting exposed to 60 to 80 centigrade of actual ionizing radiation, the vest is cutting it down to about 6 to 8 milligray. That is really, really damn good. Um, you know, that's basically saying rather than being exposed to 80 Röntgen per hour, you're being exposed to 800 milli Röntgen per hour. That's a bloody good vest, actually, for that. So yes, those cheap Chinese vests do work as a steel apron.